Bible teaches the minister sure, yes, to preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. <laughs> reprove and rebuke and exhort. People get mad today if you rebuke sin. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but it don't matter if they get mad. Uh, they they're not going to change God's word either. No, it won't change. But He said to reprove and re rebuke and reprove and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come that men will not endure sound doctrine. Yeah. yeah. Now, this, is sound, this is sound doctrine. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people get mad at it. Yeah. I wish it was all over the world on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they can hear that. I really do. And uh, the time will come, and it's here. It, it ain't coming now. It's already here. It's been spoken a long time ago. That men will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, after their own lust, will heap to themselves teachers, yeah. having itching ears, and will turn away from the truth yeah. under favors. Under favors. And I thought about how how wonderful how God had blessed him this morning to preach, rebuke and sin. And that's what we need today. We better wake up. Amen. Out of her sleep. I read in here where uh, some church people went to sleep. Yeah. They, they would sit down and, and uh, to eat. They'd rise up and play. And we see people just like that today. I mean, they'll go into the assembly and they'll sit down and eat. And they'll rise right up to play like playing games. But when we think about God's word and, and God's truth. Uh, God's truth will make us free. Amen. And uh, I thought this morning, my Brother Tommy was preaching, and I just about had to help him a little bit. I amen him. I needed that. But separating ourselves, church, has to, we separate ourselves from the evil of this present world. Sanctified, set apart uh, from the world. We're different. Yeah. We are a peculiar people. Mm -hmm. Zealous. Zealous, careful Should be. of good works. Yeah. That's the way our life is. And uh, when we begin to think uh, about God's blessings and God's promises, I thought so many times about uh, the song that Sister Beth and Sister Linda and them sang uh, about the blessings, oh my soul. Mm -hmm. And I was reading that. I, I turned to the Bible and I, I found where they got the song at. And I get a blessing out. I, I've always got a blessing out of the song. And when I read it out of the Bible, I got more blessings. Yeah. Because it's all in our favor tonight if we will only come out from among the world and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And I will be unto your Father, and you shall be my sons and my daughters, saith the Lord. Touch not, handle not, taste not, handle not the unclean things. And I will be unto your Father, and you shall be my sons and my daughters, saith God. Praise Lord. How, how in this world today, i never seen people, as <coughs> Tommy mentioned this morning, and, and me and my wife talked about it, but I've never seen a time in my life that I've seen people deceived. Deceiving their own hearts. They, the Bible teaches us that we can believe a lie and be damned. Yeah. When we believe that this sin is right and okay, we deceive our own hearts. Amen. And he tells us to be not deceived. Commandment to us. That is a commandment of his people. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. When I say this is all right and sin's all right, I'm mocking God. I'm making God a liar. He said it was wrong. That's right. But when we call the time now that we're in, and they're calling evil good and, and good evil. They're talking about us. The world talks about us. 
And they say we're a hate crime, we're, we're all this and all that. We're a respecter of person. Listen, God is no respecter of person, neither are we. But we stand for that that is right. That's right. Amen. We were in the we were in the category of sin one time. Paul said, For such were some of you. Yep. But ye are washed, and you are sanctified. You are justified through the precious blood of the Lamb of God. What is sanctified? Sanctified is setting yourself apart from this world and its ways. We, we're, we're not of the world. We're in the world tonight. We have to live in it. But we're not of the world. We have come out from among the world. We quit doing the things we used to do. Why? Because of the benefits. The benefits. We were lost. Amen. And I wish our people, I wish our sinner people could understand that you need a Savior tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brother Junior, my, my sin has separated me from God. Yes. Your sins have separated you from your God. But bless God tonight, He made a way that we could be reconciled. We were all uh, separated. One writer said we were all like sheep. We all gone astray. Every man, every woman, I guess, uh, I guess when he said that he meant everybody, we all went astray. Yeah, right. Every man his own way. But bless God, listen, uh, tonight you can be reconciled. We we have separated ourselves from uh, our sin has separated us from God. And, and, and because of that, Brother Junior, we, we needed a, a reconciliation. And we got that through uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. the Son of God, who gave Himself that He may reconcile you and I back to God and put us back in favor with uh, God. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. We had all gone astray, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yeah. All my sheep had gone astray. I know when you was astray. I know when I was astray. Yeah, me too. I was doing things of this flesh or mine that was contrary to the will of God. Yeah. Yes. Because that's what my mind was and that's what my nature was because, I uh, listen, I was all the carnal mind. I was all the earthly mind, the sinful mind. I went after the things of the flesh. Amen. But bless God, when the Word come, and the Word really quickened me down inside and reconciled me back to God and put me back in favor with Praise God. Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. When He done that, He wrote my name down, Brother Bill, yes. in the Fire Lamb's Book of Life. Yes. Think about it. I was one that was lost. It wasn't Jesus wasn't lost. I was one that was standing in need and you were standing in need of this whole world. I was without God in the world. Yeah. Yes. Every one of us. That's right, brother. Yeah. We were without God. We were without strength. But in due season, Christ died for you. Just the right time. Right at the right time, Christ died for you. That we could be reconciled back to God. We were in a lost state. We were out in this world of sin, living after sin, living after the pleasures of sin. But thanks be unto God, uh, when the Word comes, which was quick and powerful and sharper than two-edged sword, piercing the heart. That's what it does. It pierces the heart. And men become, listen, you can become, you can come from a dead state of sin and be made alive after, through Jesus Christ tonight. Yes. And when we do that, Brother Bruce, uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a brand new creature. Yeah. He don't go after the things he used to do. He don't do the things he used to do. He don't talk like he used to do. He's got a desire to make heaven his home and he wants to do what God wants to do. Amen. Amen. Can you back that up? I sure can. Yes. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. I've thought about more here probably in the last little bit. 
Wheresoever a man's treasures are. Church, we better be careful. We better be careful when we put our treasures on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Or down through the week or any other night. That's right. Wheresoever a man's treasures are. There is his heart also. Why? Because from out of the abundance of the heart. Now uh, listen, the mouth speaketh. From out of the abundance. Have you got the abundance of God's Spirit tonight? Have we got enough down inside of us to give God the praise with? Amen. To give God the thanks when we go to the table? Listen, have we got the abundance of His Spirit uh, richly? He said to let the Word dwell in you richly. Listen. <clears throat> Might be wrong that he took me and Brother Tommy up the same night. <laughs> this is what this writer began to speak here in the book of Psalms. And I thought about this. I thought about just getting up and reading a little bit. But Brother Tommy, is, he built a fire under me today. And it helped me to grow in my spiritual life. We get used to the dark. We get used to sin. But He tells us to rebuke and reprove and rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine. But listen what the Lord, listen what this uh, Scriptures is telling us. Bless we have got so much tonight to be thankful for. Yes. This little church our little church, the other little church over here, listen, we've all got so much to be thankful for. Amen. That we can still come together and say, thank you, good Lord, for your grace and your mercy Amen. you bestowed upon us. But listen, I thought about this so many times, and every time the sisters and brothers sing the song, I think about the blessing of God. Bless my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Amen. That just makes me just feel up to know that I've got a God that is able to bless my soul the yeah. way He does. Yeah. But Lord, but Lord he's, he's a God tonight that is worthy of all praise. And that's why he said to let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. We ought to praise the Lord. Right. Amen. Yeah. Used to have an old song, if you don't want shouting, don't get on this cloud with me. That was a good old song. I've thought about that many times. If you don't like shouting, don't get on the cloud with me, because I'm going to shout through the glory. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is with me, Within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. I, I rejoice when I hear Him sing that song. Who forgiveth? Listen, this is some of the benefits. Mm -hmm. Brother Tommy Dabber, when I, when I repented of my sins, and when I still sin in this life because of this flesh of mine, are we thankful that we have a God that is still able to forgive us Amen. of our sins? Yes. What if we had a God that wouldn't forgive us? Wouldn't forgive us people. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all the disease, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. This is, all, this is all benefits. This world will understand, Brother Junior, what we're living a Christian life for. They say, well, them people, they don't have no enjoyment, they don't have no fun no more. Bless God, but look at the benefits we've got. Oh, they're so blind. Yeah. 
They're so blind they cannot see. I'm glad that I see tonight. Amen. I'm glad that I was blind, but now I see. Amen. Amen. And I was dead, but behold, I'm alive Amen. in Christ. Yeah. Think about it. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Thank you, Lord. There's the fire. Oh, man. That's the fire. Yeah. We was headed to a devil's hell, every one of us. No hope. That's right. But he redeemeth us. Yeah. He saved my life from destruction. That ransom, Tom. There's the ransom. He paid the ransom. Yeah. It wasn't with money. It wasn't with yeah. silver and gold. No, that wouldn't do. One of the writers said we wasn't, for as much we know that we wasn't redeemed with corruptible things and vain right. conversations. Listen. But we were redeemed and we paid. Jesus paid the ransom. We were redeemed with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord, for paying the ransom. Yes. That's the only thing it would pay. Yes. Couldn't buy it with silver. No. Couldn't purchase it with gold. But it took the pure Lamb of God, His blood, to be shed. Brother Junior, we need atonement. Yeah, man. We need the atonement yeah. from the blood of Jesus Christ yeah. to ransom, pay the ransom for our sins. Mm -hmm. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. But Christ died once and for all. Christ died once and for all because we were all dead. Yeah. We were all dead. No hope. Yeah. No life. But Jesus said, I am he that was alive and dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. Bless God tonight, I'm glad he ever lived. Yeah. yeah. Still making intercessions yes. for my sins. I've got the keys. He's making intercession for all them that will uh, call upon Him with faith, believing, and repenting of their sin. He will abundantly pardon you Amen. of every sin. Thank That's you, Lord. Right. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? <laughs> We've heard that tonight. <laughs> we hear it through Psalms. Through the preaching of the Word of God, we hear that. Eat from the table every day. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. I'm old in body, but I'm young in the spirit. Yeah. Think about it. I feel new sometimes. I feel so young that I can't hardly keep from flying away. But I'm telling you, that's just some of the blessings of God. Right. That's some of His benefits. Yeah. Sure. Amen. Amen. Right. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious and slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. Aren't you glad for that? Mm -hmm. He hath dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is His mercy toward them that fear Him. Think about it. Think about the God we've got tonight. Are we, are we playing the game tonight or are we serious about what, what our life is here? Brother Jerry, I know tonight that we can't do the things that we used to do. That's right. 
We have been washed in the blood of the Lamb of God and we have been sanctified. We have been set apart from this world and the iniquity of it. That were zealous and good works. And bless God tonight how we have to watch. Be sober. Be sober minded. I say, what's sober? Hey, folks. You see this world, how, how drunk they are? Amen. Amen. They don't have to have a bottle in their hand. That's right. But their mind is so drunk and tonight and all this protest and all the wicked that's going on in this world are drunken with the wine of this world. That's right. Pitiful. This world is sad, sad. It's a waxing worse and worse. Yeah. Yes. Bless God if you want the blessings of God. Stay with God. Amen. Stay Amen. with God. Brother Arbor Dameron used Amen. to say, you stay with God and God will stay with you. Yeah. And I thought, brother, listen, I thought about what's going on in this world today. A lot of churches in this world, you can't tell the difference between the world. There's doctrines of devils going on in this world uh, teaching our people once you are baptized, you are saved for eternity. They're deceiving uh, the hearts of men and women. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Tommy, what we're preaching tonight, they would probably take our head off. But I'm telling you tonight, sin is sin, and God said His face is against them that do evil. That's right. God will take my head if they want to. I'm not up for holding sin. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's right, brother. If we sow to the flesh, we shall all the flesh reap corruption. But if we sow to the Spirit, bless God and I, church us sow to the Spirit. Amen. We shall all the Spirit. And we shall all the Spirit reap life everlasting. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm going to quit right here. <laughs> Bless God, listen. Church, awake. Listen. I read when Paul, Paul was talking to a church one time, and he said to wake. Awake thou that sleepeth and arise from the dead. Mm -hmm. Pretty dead bunch of people, wasn't it? Right. The, right. Yeah. Yeah. the church can be asleep. They can walk in, they can be the children of the night. Paul said we were not all the children of the night, but we are the children of the day because we walk in the light. That's being obedient unto God. Amen. Yes. Lord, it is working. Nothing but that obedience on there. Listen, it's better tonight to not have knowing the way. Think about it. Yeah. It's better to not have knowing the way than to know it and turn from it. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Exactly. But he that taketh hold of the plow looking back is not fit for the kingdom of heaven. That's right. There's a lot of people, no doubt, probably got in Georgia church, wasn't born to give. They come in for a little while and they went back out, just like the Galatians. They were bewitched. But he pleaded with them to come. But he still pleaded with them. If you're here tonight and you've been bewitched by some deceiver out in the world, you need to get things right with God. Amen. Amen, brother. That's right. He pleaded with them. Get things right with God. That's right. God has not His will tonight that any should perish. Amen. But that all would come to repentance. That's, right, That's what God's will is. That all would come to repentance. Mm -hmm. I've seen people take and receive the gospel to be baptized and go on their way. They've been, they've been led falsely. A lot of them have been led falsely. That's all you have to do is be baptized. That'll wash my sins away. Have they been misled? Yes. yes. Man, that's the way it's been Baptism don't wash your sins away. Mm -hmm. 
It takes the blood. It takes faith in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And repentance toward God. And that blood will cleanse you from all sin. Amen. That's what washes you. That's what washes you. Regenerate. Man, I walked around with a dead battery for 26 years. But bless God when they put that old generator on me. Amen. That right there, yeah. I, it regenerated me. Yeah, it's hard to get. What did it regenerate you from? It regenerated me from a dead state of sin to a lively hope in Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. My battery's charged now. <laughs> I'm not dead no more. No. I'm not dead no more. Well, tired, well, I've got a lively hope tonight in Christ. Yeah. One thing leads to another. <laughs> but listen. Brother Tommy mentioned something there, and I've mentioned it several times. We purify our hearts. I see that water, that steel water you buy anymore. I think they got to looking at it and had a lot of Unpurify stuff in it. Supposed to be pure. Supposed to be pure. They sell it for, for pureness, don't yeah, they? they do. I don't think there's anything in this world that's pure. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, in the kingdom of God, there's something that's pure. Amen. And we can use that to purify our hearts with it. Purification. Yeah. That's the only thing that will cleanse our heart. We purify our hearts tonight in obeying the truth. That's right. You will straighten us up, Brother Chris. Yes. It will keep a clean heart. Yes. Amen. So let's walk after the word. Mm -hmm. You might say, Preacher, are you perfect? No, sir. No, I'm sorry. I'll confess my faults. I'll be number one to confess my faults. Yeah. And when I sin, I'll be number one to confess them to the Father. Better. Yeah. I ain't waiting on you to fix them up for me. No. I take them to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says some men's sins go beforehand to judgment, and some fathers them. Let's don't let them bother us. No, Let's no. take them to Him. Let's give them to Him. Let really Him take care of them for us. He's the one that they won't get purified. So I'm going to close out right here.